Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? It's your boy Foots here. As always, thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. It means the world to me. Thank you to all who donated and who will continue to donate. So, um, today, quick topic. Um, some news broke, kind of, sort of. Um, and it's and it's been a discussion amongst Cowboys brash or amongst Cowboys, the Cowboys community, the Cowboys family, rather. Um, what to do with Byron Jones? Well, today some news broke from a Mr. Todd Archer. You guys see it on the screen. Um, and he's basically reporting that the Cowboys have and will be considering moving Byron Jones back to corner. What does this mean, though? Well, if you guys have been following this channel, you know that I did a video on Chris Richard and how he'll implement, you know, cover three schemes and how he will ask for more of his corners and we know that he likes bigger, rangier corners. Now, I think Cheeto and I think Jordan Lewis were phenomenal and they still play a big role and they may still be your starters on the outside or what you may do is move Jordan inside as just your primary slot guy. I think he would be a great slot guy. Byron could just be the backup or I mean, and Byron could just be a starter on the left or the right, and Cheeto could hold down the left or the right. Now, some things I took from this was, you got to remember one thing about Byron. Um, when you're versatile and you play so many positions, you never really have one position. His rookie year, he played some corner, was good at it. Then he played some, like, free... I remember he did a really good good job on Rob Gronkowski his rookie year, even though we got housed by the Patriots because that was the Matt Castle debacle. But that was 2015. But he still played well. He played very, very well. Um, you think about then moving him back to safety. We were excited about that because he played both the UConn. And you remember, you know, his battles and, and training camp with Jason Witten. So we thought we had something there. I, me personally, don't think that Byron Jones is a bad safety. He's just not Landon Collins, and that's what he's going to be constantly, you know, compared to as his career goes on. However, looking at his athleticism, looking at how smart he is, and looking at the fact that he doesn't miss games, that is something to be said about that. Byron Jones, who had injury concerns coming out, doesn't miss football games. I think that this move... And the way that Chris Rashard wants to play, a lot of man, a lot of press, a lot of get your hands on receiver. Don't let him get into your bread basket uh, like a corner term. Don't let him get on you. I think Byron Jones has the athleticism to do so. What does this mean, however? Does this mean that will there be a shuffle of maybe Xavier Woods pushing back to free um, and being the primary free? Because if we, we all know he played kind of, that that dime nickel safety guy. He was he was kind of like our our kind of like our honey badger, a poor man's term, a poor man's version of it. But he played well. Xavier Woods played a lot of snaps. And if you go look at the recap video of our last draft that me and Joe did, we talked about how we liked all of these corners. Um, does this mean that you know Jordan will just be a slot guy, and Cheeto one side, Byron one side? Is Byron going to be a backup? But I think that what the Cowboys have to do, and, and it speaks on it in the piece, um, the Cowboys have to have a position for Byron and let him play it. If he blows up, maybe you pick up his fifth-year option next year. or you, you never know. Does this mean also that, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong here, does this mean also that, and this is what I know, so you guys may not be able to correct me, I believe that, if, if the Cowboys are contemplating this move or speaking on this move, I believe that safety is high on their board. Ronnie Harrison, if Derwin James falls, um, the list goes on. You know, a couple other guys, maybe Justin Reed in the second round, um, safety from Stanford. So there's a lot of different ways that you could interpret this move from the Cowboys saying, yo, we're going to move Byron Jones to corner. Um, Kayvon Frazier getting more looks as that true – box safety and he played good played well in run support maybe they and maybe they don't I know this is me kind of talking out of both sides of my neck but maybe they don't look safety in the draft maybe they say we have everything we need here we'll just 
move some things around personnel wise. We'll just play Kayvon more closer to the line and let Jeff Heath, I know Cowboys fans don't want to hear that, kind of roam on the back end or maybe let X Woods kind of roam on the back end. And now, if Cheeto gets hurt, who has shown some injury concern, Jordan played all his games, but if Cheeto gets hurt and if Anthony Brown just isn't cutting it, and we obviously know with this happening, it's bye bye Skandrick. And Skandrick was probably out anyway. We obviously know that, you know, that that could this these are all possibilities. So Cowboys fans, what do you guys think? What does this move mean to you? If they're talking about it, they're probably gonna do it. I know there had been some interest in like Kenny Vaccaro last year. I read an article about that, but you know the Cowboys like to draft their guys and they like to play their guys. That's what the that's what the new theme is for the Cowboys team, Cowboys Nation, Stephen Jones, Will Clay. They want to draft a team, they want to play a team, they want to develop a team. So let me know what you guys think. Um, also, I just this weekend, this past weekend, if you guys follow me on the internet or some, I I just had a listening party for my album. The album is done. It's called Sitting in Outer Space. Here goes the artwork. Bam. You see how cool that looks? Yeah. The artwork right there. So it's called Sitting in Outer Space. Um, you guys can pre-order it now. I'll put the link in the description box. And just keep, you know, that's where... I'm working as a musician and obviously to give you guys these videos and so and the lights are coming soon and thank you guys to everybody who donated so the link will be in the description box you guys can pre-order it's only seven bucks support a brother send it around let people know what you guys think about it so anyway it's your boy Fuster King let me know what you guys think about the Byron Jones move peace oh yeah more scouting breakdowns coming soon I think I'm gonna do Shaquem Griffin today okay later peace